Hello and welcome to paradise, the paradise which is Nelson Bay. Oh yeah, and here we are, this time I'm going to showcase to you the Uzi. One of the best SMGs in the game in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's a very good weapon, and I will tell you during this video why I think like this. Uh, so here we are, I skipped the first base um, of attacking side here. And now we're on the second base, running up towards the pretty mound here. And here I do a small boo boo because <laughs> I get shot by this guy with a gold, gold sniper, 12 times scope. We'll get back to this guy later. Take him down, uh, big time. So here, checking out where I can find someone to spawn on, but the medic revived me. It's pretty good. It's good enough. It's a good revive. It wasn't in the open or anything. And then it counts as a good revive, pretty much. And here, I have a really aggressive team, which I'm playing with. And they went immediately for A, and this is a good sign because most of the time when you join a battlefield game uh, you will uh, know pretty much that your team is pretty bad and you just got the spot on the server because someone, uh, because someone left from the uh, losing team. And here I go full auto against this guy and I miss, so you shouldn't go pretty much full auto all the time, like small bursts pretty much does it most of the time. This guy, yeah, he gets owned in the head, and it's pretty much like I'm sure that we're sure that we'll get this base because uh, for all of you who have played Nelson Bay, you know that if you get A, you have pretty much a secured position right there because uh, you can't hold B because there's so much RPG and everything going in towards that that uh, B will eventually fall, and yeah. But it's the last base, pretty much, where it gets uh, a bit harder. So, uh, the Uzi, yeah. What should I talk about it? It's great. You know, <clears throat> it's very underrated because of its low damage. But uh, it is a good spread, pretty much, and yeah, when you fire from long range, uh, here's a good example, of course, why the damage is pretty weak. And this guy tries to sneak up on me, but gets from shot in the head. No, not the head actually, but from the MP443 Gratch. One of the best sidearms in the game. I do pretty much stating a fact here, but yeah. We all have our own opinions actually, so. And someone from our team already got down the heavy machine gun here, so we can advance pretty much. That looks like B is going down. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. You have to do everything to defend A, but they had no guys at A at all. As much as I noticed when I went in. Mm, yeah, they're hiding just behind there and lurking. Alright, this guy, yeah, he's oblivious, he's just trying to camp there. See that if, if he can get some departing kills. Also find some ammo here, it's very valuable. It's also, that's uh, why it's really good to run the ammo specialization when going around with the Uzi. That's one of the reasons why I don't use any special sites like Red Dot or Four Times with this, because it really sucks to ammo, and uh, it's a big difference if you have those what, uh, 200 plus rounds to play around with. You can be really cavalier with your ammo. It's very really nice. It's really good. Because sometimes <laughs> all dudes are engineers in your, on your team, on your squad, and you have no souls whatsoever. That's like pretty annoying. Yeah, this guy, that was just my horrible aim right there. Nothing wrong with the weapon itself. But he's dead pretty much because he's spotted. So here we're gonna make our advance on the A. It's pretty much, um, I, I like the way of going to A first. It's a pretty stabile strategy. That's also why the Uzi is very good on this map. Because it's a lot of short range encounters, like that one right there. You can just move in. And when you are an engineer, you can shoot through the, the walls and the doors. That's why it's good to have someone running engineer on your squad, so you can... Yeah, this guy tries to get me through here, but no, nope. too bad, dude. You're going down. So, yeah, it's good to have the engineer kit. You don't use it all that much to kill any enemy infantry. It's, it's uh, rarely even allowed on most servers. So, you, you pretty much just use it to take... Um, take out any ob obstacles. You can also see how fast they actually die when you hit them. Just just mow them down. And you have 32 shots in the magazine, so it's pretty nice. Also get some random dude here with the grenade. 
trying to take a secure A position here. It's looking pretty good, it's already on the last seconds in here and now it explodes. And this guy just spawns in front of me. No biggie. It's really good that I wasn't playing um, hardcore mode, but I really do. Uh, actually it's pretty cool that it doesn't have spotting and all that, but um, it makes for some uh, insane gameplay to say the least. I just die all the time, really horribly. I don't know what, but yeah. That's because I'm too aggressive when I play hardcore. I just run around towards the objectives and get shot immediately. You have to use a lot of smoke and be tactical about it. It uh, makes it easier. That's also one thing that's uh, pretty going to be pretty interesting in the on the following months here. And this guy, yeah, this is also a good example of my horrible aim. But this guy taking me in the head with MP443 Gratch. He should have killed me, but yeah. Something happened to that guy's aim, so... Also, this guy returns and shoots me with the... Yeah, 40 mm grenade. Oh yeah. 40 mm grenade launcher for the win with body armor. But of course, he's uh, level 14, so... Yeah, you can't really blame the guy. And it's not that bad. You should be able to use the stuff that is in the game, actually, so... I don't I'm, I'm not all for these uh, limitations with some servers. That they say, yeah, don't use this gun or this gun. DICE has done a pretty good job at balan balancing the game, especially the M60 in the beginning, it was, uh, I didn't have a problem with it, even though, even when I didn't use it from time to time, but yeah, some people said it was very overpowered. So they have made every weapon pretty similar, but there are still good enough differences to make the guns unique, you know, so it's good. And I notice I'm not even talking very much about the Uzi here, mostly about balancing. Yeah, this guy's here and I get shot in the in the face, in the back of my face, by Sega. I don't know, so, some people hate the Sega as well. I have no huge problem with it. I don't use it very much because it has such a bad, bad reputation. But I could use it pretty much. But I favor more the 870 and the rest of the pump actions. And the Uzi, of course, which I'm showcasing here. And that is also horrible aim, getting the guy on the last shot. Yeah, as I was telling you about the balancing, about the spotting system, it's going to be really interesting in Battlefield 3. Because, uh, yeah, uh, there were a lot of complaints about in Battlefield 3 Alpha. I don't know if I really should be speaking about it, but I don't think it's a big deal. Everyone knows about it, that uh, the spotting is pretty easy and got a lot of flack for being too easy to spot. Here's also a <laughs> rather funny boo-boo. This guy just ninja defused the Amcom. I don't know, that was maybe some kind of bug thing, because sometimes when you even arm AMCOMs, it does it, uh, you know, in one second or something, glitches out. So yeah, that was maybe one of those instances right there. And here we have pretty good covered, except that I threw the grenade on the back of my own teammate. Pretty bad thing right there. And it's also good to go out here to secure the lanes towards B. It's pretty good, you can secure them. This guy here, he thinks that he can run through me, but no, it's not gonna happen. But they even go back there and uh, disarm it somehow from the behind here. And here I get a lot of uh, hitboxes, but yeah, I didn't uh, kill the guy. Or hit markers, I mean. But we get a new shard set. Eight, 19 tickets of remaining. It's getting really close, but it ain't too close in, the, in reality. We pretty much got this. We got our own teammates everywhere. This guy does, uh, I don't know, maybe the third or second time this guy runs out. It was my Uzi here. And here I don't even want to go for the reload, because I want to have those few shots. Sometimes they come immediately when you reload, so... But luckily I have the Gratch, this guy. Yeah, feels the Gratch. So there, there you have it. The Uzi, it's a wonderful weapon. Go ahead, around and use it. And uh, try it out, see if it's good for you. Pretty much, so... I think this gameplay was decent. You'll see it was uh, pretty much 25 and 5, so it's good. I'll see you guys later.